everyone, Matt here from MRKWP. Have you got a Google capture on your Gravity Forms and you're still finding getting heaps of spam? Yeah, me too. How did I fix it? I'm gonna show you exactly how in this video. Let's jump on in and see how it works. Okay, so for our form, I've got this inquiry form here and I click edit. And this inquiry form, you can see it already has a Google capture. That's what we want. Um, if you haven't got that, you still need a Google capture for this to work best. Um, so the next thing I want to do is go to the radio buttons here and we want to add some radio buttons and this adds just down here. So I'm going to say in here, this is not called untitled. This is going to have our text in it and we want that text to say confirm you are real. So confirm you are real like that. And then uh, next we've got the instructions that say select I'm a person and complete the Google capture to send the form like that. That's all good. And then I'll put some quotes just around there. That looks good. Okay, and then we want to say next up, I'm a spammer or I'm a person. Like that. Okay. Um, that's all good. And then we select that it's required. So from there, um, we're going to save the form, but what I also want to do is just move that above the capture. So I'll put that there. So I've got confirm you're real. I'm a spammer. I'm a person, that kind of stuff. And then I click save form. At this point, we need to go to the form settings to do the conditional logic. So let's go to form settings. And then what I want to do is scroll down here and uh, we go to the conditional logic area. So I go there. So this is going to make the submit button appear when the conditional logic is done. So next um, that we've done that, we want the confirm you are real here is I'm a person like that. And that's all good. Everything else is all good here. So I go save settings. Now with this form, if you don't say I'm a person, it won't show the button. So let's now go back to the site and go contact us. And here on this contact form, you'll notice there is no submit button. But when I go, I'm a person, the submit button appears. If I go, I'm a spammer, it disappears. So this stops the form being able to be submitted and the button itself being pressed if you say, don't say, I'm a person. And that pretty much solves that additional spam issue that we've got. All right, well, if you like the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If this has helped you, by all means, leave a comment below, share the video around, and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more tutorials just like this one. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.